old bag from Prak, Scotland. 20 liter, 25 liter, and 35 liter. This 35 liter, you can fit a surprising amount of stuff in. This 25 is like a large daily carry bag that you could also use as a travel bag, the kind of travel bag where you can use it as your day bag when you get there. It's a little bit big on my 511 frame to be like a day bag, unless I'm bringing camera gear, in which case this is perfect. And the 25 liter is just adorable. I love this bag with one caveat. The external materials are incredible. Extremely heritage vibes from these things. So with that old school, classy sort of look, like this was like a twill suit or something like that, you know, just very heritage, but modern enough for a couple reasons. Number one, this top front pocket right here is perfect size. This thing is surprisingly useful. Okay, little sling that goes around. Oh look, it's just a little throw everything in my pocket. Take that little strap off and then this thing clips in like so and you've got an extra little organizer and it's not bulky. It's there if you need it. You can also put that in the main compartment which has a couple little spots for it. Then you've got laptop compartments in the back caveats on that in a second and these water bottle pockets one on either side look at how sleek these things are they pull right against the side of the bag they've got a little bit of elastic and even in this 20 liter my 32 ounce awala water bottle fits decently all right you have one of those on either side so these like little like perfectly subtly modern accents on a very heritage bag. <clears throat> Beautiful details like these uh, strap latches here, these, these adjusters. They're this, I have never even seen this before. Ends up working really great, just like you're used to. But there's like runes on these things. Some ancient druidic magic. Also, I love this simple handle, okay? It's just like this webbing folded and sewn in on itself, but it hangs up off the top of the bag just slightly as a part of the design. Great little detail. Bright yellow, like hunting, hunting vibes inside of here as a detail, as well as, you see this little, little bit of fold over right here, giving it a ton, just a bit of dimension. The fact that this top pocket goes down to about, you know, on this one it's about halfway. On this one it's about like three quarters to right there of the back. Little, just little details. And then like I mentioned, this sling, great little G hooks. There's these meshies right here, which I could fit stuff in, and then the actual compartment of this pocket. Inside the main compartment, you've also got pocket here, pocket here, no dimension, just flat. Nice little details throughout the bag, including, like I mentioned, these just delicious little water bottle pockets that the strap is like connected to, and it pulls it flat against your body. Just, just, uh, there's like a the elegance on the other side of simplicity. Two caveats on this bag. Number one, not my favorite zippers. They're water sealed, they're YKK, they're extremely durable and you're gonna actually dig them over time. They break in a little bit, but I don't, I just, I would have been really stoked if this was a like a fat, plastic injection molded, just fucking grip and rip it kind of zipper. For some reason, these guys just feel delicate to me. They're not. They're custom made zip holes that are like on YKK AquaGuard zips. I just have always, I just want it to be a little bit thicker. Sorry, Track. that's my, that's my take on that. You're not gonna have any problems with them. Then, here is your laptop compartment. Now, the 25, and the 35 can fit my 16 inch MacBook Pro pretty good, but it's like the doorway itself, by the way, this little move where you move, you just roll that over, you're gonna get used to that. 
it's just like right at the, I've had this for a few days and I'm, and I'm like, it's starting to stretch a little bit more. So it was just at first, it was like a little bit too, too tight. It looks like it's gotten easier over time. But my, arguably my favorite bag here is this 20 liter and we're nowhere near, we're nowhere. I mean, it's like, it's actually so close. Like I wish we could have, wish we could have found a little way to do that. So this fits, the 20 liter fits a 13 inch. They said possibly 14 inch. They just didn't have any 14 inches to test it on. So your mileage may vary on that. I gotta say how much I love this size. This size for like a daily carry bag where you can just throw in, you know, a camera cube and your headphones. You got a little bit of organization up here. Just that size of like, oh, this thing is Beautiful. So I could get a laptop case that I put inside this bag and still carry it around. And I just, or this is my iPad bag. But maybe if you have a 13 inch, you know, you're lucky. <laughs> I just love the size. This is again, the 20 liters, just, oh, and these materials. So here's that 25 liter, my earth runner sandals, my hikes running, some jammy shorts, some swim trunks, button up, a long sleeve for sleeping in, my sun hoodie, some merino shirts, western rise pants that fold down into very small materials, but they're my favorite pant ever. You gotta check out my Travel Glad email series. It's just free. It's like every few weeks you get an email from me saying like, hey, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? About travel stuff. Now, in the 35 liter, I was able to fit everything we had in the 25, plus a camera cube, plus my little gravel toiletry kit. One of the things to know about all of these bags, the top has almost an inch of overlap on top of that. What that means is that when you zip it all up, you'll feel that it's like, actually there's more space in here. I can put more in here. I can put a lot more in here. But one of the things that you'll learn in the Travel Glad email series is you don't wanna overpack. It makes everything worse. It makes everything worse when your bag's just like bursting at the seams. It's nice to have a little bit, a little bit of space. And for 35 liters, this would actually fit under the seat in front of me in the airplane on most airlines. The only thing that would actually limit it is not this depth, but rather the width here. Some seats, you wouldn't be able to get that in, but that's another big little trick. So these bags all feature the same dope top pocket. I just gotta hit this idea one more time. I love the size of this. Throw a pair of headphones directly in there, throw in your charger for your laptop. Get a tech pouch that fits perfectly inside of here. All of this is such a big deal in transit for me. And it's just the perfect size. The material and the feels that like sort of heritage thing is like, oh, I love the silhouette and the shape. It's gonna last forever because of the materials. And then you've got that just beautiful sort of simplicity throughout where every inch of this bag is used for capacity minus just this front top pocket, which is so slick. So what do you think of the new store bags from Scotland, hand shucks? Really wish I could fit my laptop in here. All right, that's it for me. Ask questions in the comments, uh, use my link. This bag just came out. If, you, if this video is helpful for you, please use my link because it supports my family and uh, we could use it. So thank you. Be yourself, make good choices. Bye.